Hello sweet sweet souls, welcome back. I hope that you are good and that you've had a good couple of days. So what we're doing today is what are their late night thoughts about you, which is kind of kinky, but I'm interested to see what is going on in their thoughts before they go to sleep. Now if you didn't watch the reading the other day, uh, one of the decks said you are the last thing they think about at night and the first thing in the morning. So let's have a look at those nighttime thoughts. Let's see. Deck number one, deck number two. We're going for quite cartoony decks today. This one, um, one, uh, one of you guys bought me um, before I gave birth, more for Hunter, so Mystical Medley Tarot. And then this one is one of my personal ones that I don't actually use in people's readings, but today we are. And that's the This Might Hurt Tarot if you are interested. So, deck number one, deck number two. Pick your deck, go to the deck that you are most drawn to, and we're gonna get cracking. Number one. So if you need me, uh, just drop me a message, mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. And as always, I'm back now. Thank you all so much for sticking by me over the last nine months from the birth of our little boy. Okay, think about your person for me. Let's get into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. And let's really go into those deep nighttime thoughts. I like it. So as I'm going into that energy, I'm clairvoyantly seeing the Nine of Swords. Now, as a lot of you know that read tarot, the Nine of Swords is often about insomnia, nightmares, really kind of fear-based energy. And it is that, that process before we go to sleep. Now, by seeing that before you nod off, and I'm seeing it very clearly with the Ride Away Tarot, this shows that your person has this kind of sense of anxiety in them before they fall asleep. Now, as the Dalai Lama said, if you're focusing on the past, you have depression. If you're focusing on the future, you have anxiety. That's why it's really important that we stay in the here and now. So your person having anxiety before they go to sleep is showing that they are thinking about the future and the future with you. So let's pull some cards. Let's see what comes up. Ready? One. What are they thinking? What are those late night thoughts telling them before they go to sleep? Three, two, three. I'm gonna get five. Spirit are drawing me to the number five, four. Got the hand slip. Three, four, and one more. Nice. Five. Aha! I was waiting for this little bugger to show up. So. Let's start off with the tower. Now, I know someone, one of you messaged me the other day and was like, I don't really understand the tower. I don't really know what it means. I, I don't get it. So the tower is a, is a card, it's a situation or something that's happening around you where everything falls apart and has to be rebuilt. Now, we can have big T, capital letter, towers, or you can have little t, towers. So an example of a big T tower would be a breakup, a separation, um, money issues, health issues, um, anything that's very divorces, um, all that kind of energy. They are the big T towers. And then you can have little T towers. So little T tower would be something like seeing something on social media that you don't like. Um, it could be arguments. It could be conflict, tension, all of that kind of stuff. So the tower happens when things kind of have to fall apart around you and be rebuilt. In the smaller towers, if it's arguments and things like that, you're probably about time that you said your piece, that you said what you wanted to, and you let the, the towers fall. Big T towers, obviously, they are heavier situations. So that is what this card means, really. So when we're looking at what your person is thinking about you late at night, the first card that I'm being drawn to is the tower. Now, with spirit showing me the nine of swords to begin with, clairvoyantly, the card of insomnia and fears and doubts and worries, and with the tower coming up next to it, this will show to me that your person is having some thoughts that perhaps things haven't gone the way they wanted them to go and it's giving them sleepless nights and I really really want to dwell feel that energy with you guys so wherever you are in the situation with your person they are having insomnia and sleepless nights and the next card is the five of cups so what this is showing is that they aren't happy with how the situation's turned out perhaps um if they've been a bit idiotic they are having regrets remorse that they should have handled things a little bit better I also feel that they're really taking off those bite-sized chunks to analyse where things went a little bit pitong. Was it them? Was it you? And this is where their thoughts are going. They're analysing and they're adding two and two and they're trying to make 
four, but sometimes they're making 20. And that's where these kind of late night fears are coming in. There does feel to be a sense of regret. Now, the other thing that's really important over here, you've pulled five cards. Four of them are major arcanas. So the major arcanas are always kind of life situations, big, big things happening. It is in these moments that your person is sleeping or about to go to sleep that they have this very strong realisation. OK, realisation coming up. Major realisations. So the other cards that you've got, you have the hanged man who was actually in reverse. So this is saying over here that they're debating, stepping, debating, reaching out to you, getting in contact. They've had an analyse of the situation. Hanged man would normally say that you're stuck and you're looking for answers and you're searching for those epiphanies. Well, the late night energy is that your person is having those epiphanies, that the walls are breaking down and they're realising with the tower hitting that perhaps it's time to get their act together. With the lovers and the fool, this is them reaching out to you, taking a leap of faith. Uh, Cl uh, Chloe? Message for Chloe out there, whoever Chloe is. Um, I just saw a Lenoma, um, the rider card. So if you read Lenoma, this is a card of messages, it's a card of communication, it's a card of news. And that teaming up with the full suggests that your person is going to be reaching out to you especially if your name is Chloe um and you have the lovers next to it as well okay so reaching out communication of love so what they're thinking late at night is I made a big f up I potentially regret all my actions I feel quite sorry over everything that's happened I'm sitting here licking my wounds a little bit but what I'll do is I'll make a resolve and I will get in contact with them and I will sort this out um and it also feels that they want to say what they need to say. So a lot of the time they've had a mask on and now they're feeling like that mask can drop, especially with the hangman in reverse. They're feeling that that mask can drop and they can make those moves towards you. And that is what they're thinking late at night. Like it. Deck number one. Okay, so if you need me, drop me a message, mrlovetarot at gmail.com or Instagram, Facebook, uh, just direct message me. On there, uh, send a follow request on Instagram because I put it as private because of all the scammers and there's so many tarot readers out there being scammed at the moment. Um, always question it. If you get a message from someone that you've been following who's a tarot reader and it starts off with something like, dear beloveds, I have a message for you, please double check the addresses at the top because they'll throw in the one that, that, that scammed, uh, tried to scam us was Mystic Love with two L's. So just watch out a little bit for, for those people because you don't want to be passing money over. And that's why my profile is private. We need to send requests, but send them and we'll accept. Okay, get number two, let's go. So, we're going into the thought, feelings, energy, persons, thoughts, feelings, energy, and we're pulling out that late night news. Now, I don't know how many of you in England, but I just, uh, when we was a kid, I used to live in Peterborough, Peterborough, I should say, with a proper British accent. I used to live in Peterborough, and there was always a, there was Harrowwood FM, and there was always a program called Late Night Love, and I used to listen to it as I was falling asleep. But right, Dot, um, really, I uh, probably like 13, 14, um, in the days when it was still tapes. <laughs> so, <laughs> Late Night Love, like, that's the energy we're going into. So let's see, what is your person thinking about you? Last thing at night, let's have a look. Temperance, my dear old friend. Okay, there is a song in that for you um, and it's called Almond Tree and uh, I don't know who it is by but it starts off by saying temperance my dear old friend and that's the first card that you've drawn. What are they thinking about you before they go to sleep? That's a hand snap. Let's just get one more. What are they thinking about you at night? Okay. Well, okay, I'm going to start at the very, very beginning. It's a very good place to start. Well, I'm going to start at the end, actually. Page of Swords. So, late at night, your person is sitting there on their phone, watching your social media. So, your Instagrams, your Facebooks, your everythings of that energy, they are watching you. Now, if they have you blocked, they have a fake account. If they haven't got you blocked, they might be asking their mates to check in on you, see what you're up to. 
TikTok, I don't know. I don't have TikTok, but maybe they're watching TikToks. They are watching what you are doing and it tends to happen when they are laying in bed at night and thinking of you. So definite energy over here. Queen of Cups. So watching what you're up to, spying on you from afar. And the Queen of Cups is their emotions. So they're watching your social media and feeling this sense of love for you, a deep love. They're also actually energetically communicating with you psychically with the Queen of Cups. So you guys are probably uh, high dimensional energy. So twin flames, high vibrational soulmates, all that kind of stuff. There's likely to be telepathy, astral travel. Um, you're probably meditating to communicate with them. All of that, it's working, it's coming up, okay? Now your person, whether they're psychically tapped in, tuned in, turned on or not, is watching your social media and energetically this is happening too and it does feel to me that in the early hours when they fall asleep that is where the vibration is at the highest so that is where the communication comes in um in the dreams i don't know if any of you guys know but i've spoke about this before and um, when we have visitations or when we have speaking of um loved ones like twin flames etc coming into your dreams you will know whether it's your subconscious mind or if it is a visitation because the person's lips won't be moving. So if it is a visitation, you'll have the messages coming through the mind. And if it is a mind or subconscious energy, then it, the lips will be moving. OK, so just bear that in mind as well when you, you do have these dreams about your person. Um, the other thing is when they're saying it's the first part of us, they being spirit, when they say it's the first part of when they go to sleep, it really is when their brain waves are switching from delta to theta. Um, when that happens, that's their easiest time to communicate. So it's at the start of the night before you hit into that REM. That's what spirit is saying. So watching social media and then dreaming about you and having these very strong emotions. Other things coming up, temperance, ten of pentacles, nine of wands. So if you have been thinking nothing's happening, it's all a bit standstill, don't really know what's going on. Temperance is one of these cards that kind of suggests to me that things are changing and transforming around you. Alchemy is happening, but there's a bit of a delay. It's a bit like sluggish it's a bit like pulling teeth you have a heavier energy with that like it's it's there the energy's there the emotions are there but not much is really happening because things are happening higher dimensional and transferring into 3d so things moving ten of pentacles so things are shifting in your favor but it's just like i said delays you've got family you've got friends you've got loved ones you've got the potential for the two of you to be blossoming growing and starting a new chapter with the ten of pentacles that's going through their thoughts, but they're just not doing much about it yet. Now, with the nine of wands at the bottom, this is suggesting that they're licking their wounds a little bit, that they're feeling a bit peed about the situation. I'm also, uh, with this writing, Akashic Records, Spirit was saying to me, so there is this energy between you guys that you've probably had this this happen in past lives, forward lives. And if you haven't done visitations to the Akashic Records and you're looking at this work with this dream energy, that is something that I would recommend you do have a look at. Um, okay, let me just clarify the Nine of Wands. Seven of Cups. Okay, so your person is really tossing and turning in their mind before they go to sleep about what they want to do about the situation. Okay, so choices, changes, decisions, um, still holding off a little bit because they are feeling a bit wounded no matter what's happened between the two of you there's a sense of self-defense there's a sense of i've been fighting well you might be feeling you probably don't feel that they feel like that but they've been fighting for this connection that they're still holding on to it um and so that is bringing on these like i need to make some choices and chances and changes in my life for this to move forward so where what are they thinking of you late at night definitely still thinking about you definitely got emotions here definitely thinks that there is potential but unsure on how to get the situation moving in their favor how to move it around and um, because they're being quite stubborn and that is that number two so if you need me just drop me a message at mr love tarot at gmail.com as always thank you for sticking by with me over the last nine months it's great to be back um Email readings have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. I'm also doing video readings again. Um, so just give me a shout um, if you want me. And I love you. And I'll see you in a few days.
Ciao, Balas.